In this video, we're covering the Lewis class system. I'll take you through the examples to understand how we determine the groups. We'll work with our small example results from 25 entries. A preset of four groups was decided for this event. The results are in order of scores and will be divided equally into four groups. Any remaining entries are added to the lower groups as followed. If you have no remaining, then you have a perfect split. If you have one remaining, add one to group four. If you have two remaining, add one to group three and four. If you have three remaining, add one to group two, three and four. We will now divide the results into four equal groups. So 25 entries goes into four six times with one remaining. We apply our rule from before and add the one remaining to group four. We can now set the group divides. Group four has six plus the extra one, so seven in total. Group three has six, group two has six, and group one has six. As you can see, there are tied scores either side of the group divide. Here are the rules if this is the case. If scores are tied either side of the group divide, then the score or scores move to join the majority. Here, a single score of 195 at the bottom of group 1 moves to join the majority of scores on 195 and now heads group 2. Again, tied scores either side of the divide move to the majority. Here we see a single score of 193 move from the head of group 3 to the bottom of group 2 to join the majority. Now, if there are the same amount of tied scores either side of the group divide, then those scores must move down to the head of the group below. Here we see a score of 189 at the bottom of group 3 moves down to the head of group 4 and joins the other score on 189. These are now the final Lewis class groups and the prizes can be applied. For example, if you're paying out first to third in each group, you therefore apply the prizes to each of the four groups. If scores are tied, then add and divide is applied to split the prizes between the multiple prize winners. 